last time we talked about what are interests and how do we solve simple interests. So for now, pupunta tayo doon sa kanyang kakambal which is the compound interest. So paano tayo magsisolve ng compound interest and ano-ano nga ba yung mga applications ng isang compound interest. But before that, take a look again on the objectives for this week and the content of this video. So, paano nga ba sinasolve ang compound interest? So, syempre, kailangan nating pag-aralan muna kung ano yung mga formula o yung formula na pwedeng gamitin sa pagsisolve ng compound interest. So, that is A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N raised to N T kung saan yung A that is the amount or maturity value or future value or cash price or total price. In short, ayan yung pinagsamang interest at saka borrowed money or P which is the principal. R is the interest rate and T is the time frame pa rin. Pero we have additional N, which is the number of compounding period per year. Remember that compound interest, yung kanyang rate is changing every period of time. Halimbawa, monthly nagbabago yan. So, every month, tataas ng tataas yung kanyang interest. So, yung N is the every month. So, kung every month, that will be 12 months a year. So, yung N natin will become 12. Anyway, later, i-specify natin kung ano yung mga compounding period per year. Important note, kagaya ng simple interest, transform always your rate to decimal form by just moving two decimal places to the left. So, we need to transform the rate, the percentage, into decimal form. These are the number of compounding periods annually, so that will be 1 or once a year, or n equals 1, quarterly, n equals 4, semi-annually, n equals 2, monthly, 12, weekly, 52, and daily, 365. So, kapag nakita nyo yung mga terms na yan sa isang word problem, you need to remember that they are the number of compounding periods and these are numbers equivalent to each compounding period. So, para mas maintindihan, move tayo sa pagsusolve ng mga sample problems. So, sample problem number one, Mrs. Aquino borrowed money amounting to 40,000 pesos to a friend and agreed to pay the money with a monthly 2% compound interest. How much will she pay if they both agreed to pay the amount after 2 years? So, break down natin yung problem. Siya daw ay humiram ng 40,000 pesos sa kanyang kaibigan. And babayaran niya ito with monthly 2% compound interest. Magkano ang babayaran after 2 years? So, list down the given. We have P of 40,000. We have R of 2% and then transform this by just moving the decimal places twice to the left. That will be 0 0.02. We also have T of 2 years and N of compounded monthly which is 12. And we're looking for the total amount or future value or total price or cash price. For the solution, 
we will use the formula. Always write down the formula first para hindi kayo malilito sa pagsusolve. And then, substitute the values. So, dahil medyo complex yung ating formula, you can solve this one by one. So, start tayo doon sa my exponent which is 12 times 2 that will become 24 and then yung 0 0.02 divided by 12 that will be 0 0.00001667 you can also use calculators to solve each of these steps if you have a scientific calculator you can use scientific calculator to solve it instantly if you don't have scientific calculator, you can use basic calculator, but you will solve this step by step as if you are solving my solution. So, if you combine 1 plus 0 0.00001667, that will become 1.0001667 raised to 24. And then you will raise that to 24, that will become 1.04078. And then lastly, multiply it to 40,000, then we will have 41,631.04. So definitely, Mrs. Aquino will pay 41,631.04 after 2 years. Now, you can always use calculator for easy calculations. Sample problem number 2, Ms. Aguilar paid a total of 756,130.75 pesos for 5 years from her loan on a bank A. If the bank offers a loan of 0.1% rate of yearly interest that is compounded quarterly, how much did Ms. Aguilar borrow? So, Basically, dito ang hinahanap naman ay yung magkano yung kanyang inutang kung siya ay nagbayad ng 756,130.75 sa limang taon. Given that yung kanyang interest ay compounded quarterly na 0.1%. So, breakdown natin yung ating problem by just listing down the given. So, we have total amount of 756,130.75. We also have the rate of 0.1%. Then move this twice to the left. Time of 5 years. And N is 4. And we are looking for the principal amount. For the solution, use the formula and substitute all the values. Ngayon ito, hindi mo siya kagad pwedeng i-calculator. Specifically, scientific one. Kasi we need to find P. So, for that, kailangan mo munang i-derive yung P. Pag sinabing i-derive, hahanapin yung P, kailangan alisin mo lahat yung numbers na hindi kasali sa kanya. Like yung whole 1.00002445, re-remove mo lahat yan. Siyempre, bago mo i-remove, kailangan mong i-simplify. Start with the exponent for 5 and 0 0.002 divided by 4. You can use basic calculators for that. And then after that, combine 1 and 0 0.0005. Pagkatapos nun, pwede mo na i-divide both sides by syempre 1.005 raised to 20. Cancel. And then you can use calculator for easy calculations of 756130.75 divided by 1.0005 raised to 20. So kapag nag-calcule ka, ang lalabas dyan ay 752360.002. So ang hiniram na pera ni Ms. Aguilar ay 752360.002. And that's how you solve compound interest problems.